Chapter 5 Now the sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, he was indeed the firstborn, but because he defiled his father's bed, his birthright was given to the sons of Joseph, the son of Israel, so that the genealogy is not listed according to the birthright. Yet Judah prevailed over his brothers, and from him came a ruler, although the birthright was Joseph's. The sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, were Hanoch, Palu, Hezron, and Carmi. The sons of Joel were Shemaiah his son, Gog his son, Shimei his son, Micah his son, Reaiah his son, Baal his son, and Bera his son, whom tiglath Pileser, king of Assyria, carried into captivity. He was leader of the Reubenites. And his brethren by their families, when the genealogy of the generations was registered, the chief, Jael, and Zechariah, and Bela, the son of Azaz, the son of Shema, the son of Joel, who dwelt in Aroer, as far as Nebo, and baal Mion. Eastward they settled as far as the entrance of the wilderness, this side of the river Euphrates, because their cattle had multiplied in the land of Gilead. Now in the days of Saul they made war with the Hagrites, who fell by their hand, and they dwelt in their tents throughout the entire area east of Gilead. And the children of God dwelt next to them in the land of Bashan as far as Salka. Joel was the chief, Shaphom the next, then Jeanai, and Shaphot in Bashan. And their brethren of their father's house, Michael, Meshulam, Sheba, Jorai, Jokan, Ziah, and Eber, seven in all. These were the children of Abahel, the son of Hurai, the son of Jeroah, the son of Gilead, the son of Michael, the son of Jeshishai, the son of Jado, the son of Buz. Ahai, the son of Abdiel, the son of Gunai, was chief of their father's house. And the Gadites dwelt in Gilead, in Bashan, and in its villages, and in all the common lands of Sharon within their borders. All these were registered by genealogies in the days of Jotham, king of Judah, and in the days of Jeroboam, king of Israel. The sons of Reuben, the Gadites, and half the tribe of Manasseh had forty-four thousand seven hundred and sixty valiant men, men able to bear shield and sword, to shoot with the bow, and skillful in war, who went to war. They made war with the Hagrites, Jitur, Nephish, and Nodab. And they were helped against them, and the Hagrites were delivered into their hand, and all who were with them, for they cried out to God in the battle. He heeded their prayer, because they put their trust in him. Then they took away their livestock, fifty thousand of their camels, two hundred and fifty thousand of their sheep, and two thousand of their donkeys, also one hundred thousand of their men, for many fell dead, because the war was God's. And they dwelt in their place until the captivity." So the children of the half-tribe of Manasseh dwelt in the land. Their numbers increased from Bashan to Baal Hermon, that is, to Sinir or Mount Hermon. These were the heads of their fathers' houses, Ephir, Ishai, Eliel, Azriel, Jeremiah, Hadaviah, and Jadiel. They were mighty men of valor, famous men, and heads of their fathers' houses. And they were unfaithful to the God of their fathers, and played the harlot after the gods of the peoples of the land, whom God had destroyed before them. So the God of Israel stirred up the spirit of Pul, king of Assyria, that is, Tiglath-Pileser, king of Assyria. He carried the Reubenites, the Gadites, the half-tribe of Manasseh, into captivity. He took them to Hela, Hebor, Hera, and the river of Gozan to this day.